Today is leap day and this happens once every four years. But why is that? Let's head over to first warning meteorologist Reed Kisseback on the importance of leap day. Reed. Yeah, Rachel, a lot of folks go, why exactly do we have this day? So let's do the math for you. Well, I did the math for you. We'll show it out for you here. So what exactly is a year? It's one revolution of the Earth around the sun. It's 365 days, right? Not quite. It's a little bit more than that. It's 365.2422 days. And so if we do the math, if we didn't have a leap day, it would be about 5.8 hours missed each year. And so if you add that up, in 100 years, our calendar would be off by 24 days. So that means first day of spring would no longer be March 21st. It'd be February 25th, which we all know that is definitely not the case. So the solution, one day every four years, that puts the average at 365.25. So problem solved, right? Almost, not quite. And so if we do the math once again, you can see now we're off by 0 0.0078 days, which means we're about 11.2 minutes too much each year, which would be 18 hours off every 100 years. So now we do leap year hopscotch. You skip a leap year if it falls on the start of a century, unless that year is divisible by 400, because you know, why not? That adds up. Uh, and so the yearly average now is 365.2425. You do the math again, and now we're only off by just about 25.9 seconds. That means it would take 3,333 years for us to be off by a day. And that is why we do leap year, in case you were wondering. Rachel. Not confusing at all. Thank you, Rachel.